and welcome to Physiofusion for shoulder pain. Today, we're going to do some exercises to improve the strength, mobility, flexibility and stability in your shoulder and to help relieve your pain so that you can get back to doing the things that you love in no time. The shoulder is made up of two different joints. The glenohumeral joint is where the arm bone or humerus sits in a part of the shoulder blade called the glenoid fossa. The acromioclavicular joint or AC joint is where the collarbone sits in another part of the shoulder blade called the acromion process. This is a very important joint because if it's sitting even a millimetre too far forward, your whole arm won't move correctly. A little bit like a door sitting a millimetre too far forward on a hinge won't close properly. Underneath the AC joint is a fluid filled sac called a bursa. And when the arm doesn't move correctly, that bursa can become pinched and inflamed. And that can then injure the tendons of the muscles underneath. The rotator cuff is an important group of muscles that move the arm and hold the humerus in place. If any of these muscles become torn or damaged, your whole arm won't move correctly. And you can even end up with complete loss of arm function. What should actually happen when you move your arm? These muscles should come in to draw the shoulder blade down as the arm moves out to the side. If these muscles aren't working correctly, the shoulder blade remains in an elevated position and the humerus ends up rubbing on that acromion process so that the tendons underneath can become inflamed and or torn. So what we need to do is correct our posture and make sure that all of those rotator cuff muscles are working correctly. Okay, so first we want to make sure that we have good posture. So standing against the wall, moving your hips up and down till they're level. Rotating the hips forwards and backwards till they feel level making a triangle with your pelvis and flattening the pelvis down so that it's vertical. Because it's important if we want to work on the top half of the building that the bottom half's also in the right position. Keeping your knees turned out over your second and third toes, relaxing your ribs into the wall, keeping the palms facing outwards, keeping the shoulders down and back so that they're square and then lengthening the neck and letting the chin drop down a little bit. And in that position there, we want to gently shrug the shoulders up and down. Remembering to keep those shoulders square, but keeping those ribs flat into the wall. Shrugging the shoulders up and down. Shrugging them up again and down. Keeping those palms facing the front, stretching those shoulders back. Then standing side onto the wall, sticking your bottom out and bending at the knees, so that you don't hurt your lower back. Having the palm facing out, letting your chin tuck down and just swinging the arm gently forwards and backwards, making sure that there's no pain. This position here pulls that humerus out of that glenoid fossa, so it gives a little bit of traction to the joint to make sure that we're not pinching any of those tendons. Nice and gentle, no pain. Let your neck hang nice and loose as well. Moving the arm in and out across your body, just nice and loose, always making sure that there's no pain with any exercises. If your shoulder's been a bit stiff, you may actually hear a few noises when you're doing this, but just make sure that there's never any pain. Gentle circles to the right. And circles to the left.
grabbing your stick with your palms facing up again. And breathe in, shoulders down, taking the arms up above your head, keeping your ribs into the wall. And breathing out, go down. Drawing the shoulders down, taking your arms up, keeping the ribs into the wall. And breathing out, going down. So using your good arm to help lift the sore arm up. If you find this too difficult, you can actually do it lying down. Because when you're lying down, there's less gravity and your shoulder blades are more stable. So if you're finding this one a little bit difficult, just do this one lying down. Then taking the arm out to the side. Keeping those ribs into the wall. Using the good arm to move the other arm. Now we want to stretch those muscles at the front of your chest. So standing side on to your wall with your arm at 90 degrees, lean forwards, stretching through the front of that chest. Trying not to twist the body, so try and keep the rest of the body square. Still try to keep the ribs tucked in. Leaning forward, stretching through the front of the chest. Coming back and this time taking the arm up to 150 degrees and leaning forwards again. If you don't have enough range in your shoulder to do this, just start with your arm down lower wherever you can without getting any pain. Still trying to stretch through the front of the chest, keeping that shoulder back. We use our red TheraBand to help strengthen these really important rotator cuff muscles. So we want to tie that to a pole or something in your house that you have. Keeping your shoulders down and back, keeping your ribs in. Pop one hand on the opposite shoulder just to try and keep those shoulder muscles relaxed. And breathing in, draw your shoulders down and pulling back. Breathing in, draw your shoulders down and pulling back. So for all of these exercises, you're trying to keep your shoulders square and your ribs in. We're trying to pull down under the armpit and relax up in the top of the shoulder. So breathe in, draw the shoulders down and pulling back. And only, we only want to go far enough that we're not actually tensing up at the top of the shoulders. That we're not rolling the shoulder in. Keeping the shoulders square, keeping the ribs in Draw the shoulder back. So this one's actually working the back of the arm. So these exercises are actually done in pairs. So then keep the hand there, turning around facing the other way. With your thumb facing forward, keeping the shoulders square, keeping the ribs in. Breathe in, draw the shoulders down, bringing the arm forward and breathing out. Breathing in, draw the shoulders down, keeping the ribs in and breathing out. Breathe in, draw the shoulders down, keeping the ribs in, and breathing out. Using that serratus anterior muscle again. So when the serratus anterior is weak, your shoulder blades tend to stick out and look a little bit like chicken wings. So what we want to do is keep the shoulders down and we want to push away from the wall so that the shoulder blades look wide. We don't want the shoulder blades to be coming in together and having these chicken wings stick out. So trying to draw the shoulders down and push away from the wall. And coming back in, keeping the shoulder blades wide, keeping the shoulders down, push away from the wall and coming back in. Drawing the shoulders down pushing away from the wall and coming back in. It's also important to keep your ribs in because if you arch your back 
that's going to make the shoulder blades stick out as well. So drawing the shoulders down, keeping the ribs in, and pushing away from the wall. Then place your elbows on the wall, keeping the ribs in, shoulders down, sliding both arms up the wall, and bringing the arms all the way down. Keeping the shoulders down, keeping the ribs in, trying to keep those shoulder blades wide, sliding the arms up the wall and down. The rotator calf muscles have a whole lot of pressure points around here in the arm. So we actually want to release all of those pressure points because pressure points are a little bit like on buttons. So once they're firing, it makes all of the muscles go into spasm. So what we want to do is try to release all of those muscles around the shoulder to help free up the movement in our arm. So stand with the ball against the wall and just we're trying to get around this area here. Rolling the ball up and down, forwards and backwards. And when you find a sore bit, just breathe and relax on those muscles for a few seconds. Just try to make the muscles relax. If it's not easing, just getting a little bit closer to the wall. So moving the ball up and down, forwards and backwards. You may find there's a few tight spots around there. Just moving that ball around so that you don't have to bend your knees too far. 